Hello, welcome to Stamp Designs with Denise. I'm Denise Johnson, an independent demonstrator for Stamping Up, coming to you from Bedford, New Hampshire. Thank you so much for watching my creative card making videos. I usually have them go out on Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, and I was unable to do one last week, and I um, did hear from a couple people that they were looking for them, so thank you so much for letting me know that you were looking for my videos, and I did not get one out last week. I've got... Um, some things going on in my personal life and it's sort of um, taking my time away from uh, my creativity and being able to do this. They're not bad changes, they're all good changes. Um, I'm just having my time be torn and I do need to spend some time doing some stuff um, around my house and, um, and taking some care of some personal stuff that's going on. So um, I'm hoping that I can still get these out every Monday, maybe every other Monday. Um, when some time commitments um, give me a push back and I and I have to slow down. So thank you so much for joining me. Please keep looking for them and I will do them as often as I can. And I am I love sharing uh, all the the new products and in my techniques and everything with you. And so I appreciate all of your support and for your tuning in and watching and commenting and liking my videos and sharing my videos. So thank you so much. And um, I've got three great projects for you today. Um, they all have a similar layout, but I'm using different uh, products, some from the mini catalog, which will, uh, it ends at the end of June. Let me just double check that. I'll double check that, but I uh, move my camera over. And then um, some things from the new catalog so don't forget that we still have that um, mini catalog that is still ongoing and has some great uh, products in it that you can use for your summer projects. And um, you don't wanna miss out on that and then um, before the focus turns completely to the annual catalog. So let me get my camera turned around and we will get started on some of our fun. Okay, so let me get some of this housekeeping stuff out of the way first. As always, the next paper pumpkin kit that is available um, to subscribe to until June 10th is Expressions in Color. You will be able to make um, nine different cards with coordinating envelopes. And this month you will be getting two classic Stampin' Spots. And they're focusing on the new in colors in the new um, annual catalog. And those colors are uh, Poppy Parade, Pale Papaya, Soft Succulent, Fresh Freesia, and Evening Evergreen. And it did say that the expressions, this this box coordinates with the expressions in ink, Designer Series Paper, which also has this artistically inked um, stamp set as well. So if you're interested in that, that's in the new annual catalog. Um, and it's going to have this sort of... Um, ink stained um, look. So it looks pretty fun, some pretty bright colors. And um, and if you're interested in that, there'll be some links on this video and in my blog to subscribe. Stampin' Up! is still having their Join Plus promotion, which will end on May 31st. So with your $99 joining, you can get $155 worth of Stampin' Up! products. This is a great deal. Usually you get $125 for your $99 investment, but right now you're getting a $30 extra. You get free business supplies. You'll get a um, free paper pumpkin kit. You'll get catalog. You get free shipping. So the, the $99 includes your shipping. And the, the team I belong to is fantastic. My upline is Barb Mulliken, and she works closely with two of the million dollar sales achievers. And they all share their abundant knowledge and love of stamping with us weekly in training meetings, monthly team meetings, and in a private Facebook group. You would also get free basic membership to Stamp Hattie Happy. Sorry. You would also get free basic membership to Stamp Happy Academy. So you can Google that and look that up. Um, it's a great resource for projects and fun and, um, and it's a great team. And I'd love to have you talk to me about joining mine and what your commitment would be. You don't have to be a business builder like I am. You can do it as a hobbyist and it is very, very doable. 
So please um, click on the link or contact me and I am happy to help you um, answer any questions you have about this and help you get started. Stamping Up is doing a connect, craft, and collect $25 until June 14th, which is an additional rewards. So if you spend $150, you get 10% of that back in stamping rewards to use on additional products. But if you spend $250 or host a party that is over $250, you'll get the 10% in stamping rewards plus an additional $25 in rewards. And then the rewards just build up um, from there. So this is also a great promotion, great way for you to get um, some of those products in that annual catalog for free by um, earning the rewards. I am also offering a May special. If you use my host code when you place your order between $50 and $149, I will send you a card kit where you can make three exclusive designs. There will not be stamped images. I can't send stamped images in my card kits, but it will contain all of the supplies for you to make three different cards using current um, new products from the catalog. If you order is over $150 though, don't use the reward, the code, and I will still send you the card kit and you can get the rewards for yourself. And as a bonus, I always send anyone that orders with me that month a PDF filled with exclusive projects and ideas. These were the three cards that were included in last month's um, special. And so the there were no stamped sentiments on it, but they received all of the other items already pre-cut and ready to make these three cards. So they could just add their own um, stamp sets and sentiments and images to finish those cards. So that's a great perk of ordering with me and using my host code. So let's get started. Our first card, I'm doing a nice bright card with Poppy Parade and Granny Apple Green. And we will be using the Daisy Garden, which is a new stamp set. And let me see, this is gonna be on page 106 of your catalog. So it is a full um, background stamp or full stamp. And it's called Daisy Garden. And then our sentiment is going to come from Sunny Sentiments and that is on page 38. So the stamp set just has five different sentiments in it. We're gonna use the a happy hello to you. And it actually coordinates pretty well with this sharing sunshine set on the opposite page. So this is a card I made using um, both of those, the, the sun from sharing sunshine and the sunny sentiments. And then I used um, the border dies and then um, use that to create my sort of cloud background by using the blending brushes. So that's a card I made with those two products, but we're gonna use that Daisy Garden and the Sunny Sentiments, and that's where you can find them in the catalog. So our card parts are going to be, I have a basic white envelope and then a piece of the pattern party designer series paper and so I wanted to show you this this so this is one of the items you can get with your stamping rewards it's an enormous pack of designer series paper it has 24 different designs on it one side is colored and the other side is black and white but they've got some really great designs in this, this paper pack. So on page 170, these two pages contain the exclusive um, stamp sets or the papers that you can get with your stamping rewards. And they are at a, at a little bit of a um, discounted price over other stamp sets and papers in the catalog. So as you can see, this is an enormous paper pack with so many possibilities with this. If you love designer series paper, this is a great um, item to get with your stamping rewards. 
So, as I said, basic white envelope, and then I have a piece of that designer series paper that we're gonna use to put on the flap of the envelope. I have a piece of the Granny Apple Green, and this is seven and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I have scored it at one and three quarter inches. I have a piece of the basic white, and this is uh, three and a half by two and three quarters. I have a piece of Poppy Parade. This is three and three quarters by three. And then I have two pieces of that designer series paper. And this is one and a half by four, and this is one by four. And then I have a piece of basic white, which is four by five and a quarter. So all of my measurements, I always put those on my blog and the link to the blog will be included in this video. So if you're interested in going back and um, doing that rather than pausing my video and trying to write it all down, it will be on the blog so you can go back and find it there. So let's get our stamping done first. I need a piece of scrap paper in here. So I'm going to use using Granny Apple Green and the Poppy Parade, which are the two coordinating colors for the cardstock that I'm using. And we will start with our sentiment in the Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to stamp this down towards the bottom right side of my basic white. Uh, and I stamped too hard. I got a little bit of that there. So let's turn this over. And try not to press down too hard. There we go, much better. I'm close that up. And so now, so this is a great background stamp. You could stamp it on, you know, a full piece of paper and do the whole image, but I'm actually just going to do a little bit of that image. I just want to do it up in that corner there. So even though it's an enormous stamp, you don't have to use the whole thing. I'm just actually even going to stamp up just the corner. I'm not stamping up the whole image because I don't need, need that all over the place. And then I'm just going to come in and I'm kind of lining it up around my sentiment. Apply a little pressure and there we go. So I'm gonna get that out of the way and I can move that out of the way now. And there, that's all of our stamping done. So we're going to get our card together. I am going to put the basic white layer inside. Got a little bit of glue on my finger there. And then I have the smaller piece, the one inch piece, and I'm going to just put that on the inside. We'll use our seal to attach that. So this is my, my fun fold is I'm going to attach this um, paper here and put that there, but we're gonna put on our designer series paper first there. And then I'm going to use some of this Playful Pets Trim Combo Pack. This is in the current um, mini catalog but it is carrying over into the annual catalog, so it will be available. So I'm gonna, let's see, snip this off and with enough so I can make a bow. even 
out that end a little bit. And then what I like to do is just stick a little glue dot. I gotta find my take your pick tool. Take a little glue dot and stick it right underneath my bow so it doesn't move and it stays in place. The twine doesn't sort of roll over and it keeps that in place like that. And I just knocked all my dimensionals off my desk. I wonder if I, I don't think I need them on this card. I'll have to climb underneath there and get them. So we'll attach our sentiment to the Poppy Parade layer. And then I want to attach this right here. So I only want to put adhesive. And I'm actually going to use my seal plus because it's a little bit stronger and it adheres because that's the only adhesive I have holding this layer on. So I want a little bit of a stronger adhesive and I'm going to attach that there like that. And then I have some matte black dots that we're going to use. Not really sparkly, but they'll add a little bit more interest. Let me grab my take your pick tool. Okay, here we go. Let's see. And maybe put this one down here like that. And so now we're just going to use some of this granny apple green paper from the designer series paper pack. And we will decorate our envelope. So I just like to use a little thin layer of glue around the edges. And we will line that up. And then trim it down. So if you use a piece of paper that's about six inches by two and a half, it will fit over the flap of this envelope. And I think I am going to bring that stamp set back out there and I'm actually gonna stamp a little bit of the daisy here on the front of my envelope as well. So again, I just need to stamp up a little bit of the corner and just put a little bit of it there. And there we go. So it's nice when you uh, get an envelope in the mail that has a little bit of the, the stamped images on it as well. So we've got our designer series paper on the back and our stamped image on the front. And that is our first card. So let me see if I can get this to lay down a little better. There we go. Okay, let me get cleaned up and I'll get out all the um, products for our next card. Okay, so our next card is going to use the Sweet Ice Cream Bundle or Suite of Products. We have the Sweet Ice Cream Stamp Set. We have the Ice Cream Builder Stamp Set. We have the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series Paper. We're going to use some of the Ice Cream Corner Sprinkles and we will use the um, Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon. And all of this is on page 49 of the mini catalog. So you can find that there with some other 
um, great ideas and this is a great summer stamp set in the papers they're nice and bright and um, just really bring back lots of summer memories of ice cream and popsicles we're also going to be using the stitch so sweetly dies the second largest one and I use that to cut out some basic white for our card So let's see, my card parts are all in here. Let's move this stuff out of the way. So my card base is um, eight and a half by five and a half. And I've scored this at the four and a quarter, which is the middle. And then I have also um, scored it at one and a quarter so that that flap goes in. And let me see all my other card parts. So I have a piece of the basic white that is four by five and a quarter that will go on the inside. I have a piece of the designer series paper. So all my papers come from this Ice Cream Corner designer series paper pack. This is one inch by five and a quarter. I have another piece with a different pattern. This is also one inch by five and a quarter. I have this piece with the ice cream cones on it. And this is, let me see, this is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. I have the basic white envelope. And then I have this piece that is six by probably two and a half, two and three quarters, so that it fits on the back side of the envelope. We'll decorate with that. This is my basic white that I had uh, die cut the stitch so sweetly with. I have a scrap piece of the designer series paper and a scrap piece of the basic white. So we're gonna do our stamping first. We're gonna make some ice cream. And I'm gonna use my, um, Stamp and Pierce matte because these are um, photopolymer and sometimes this gives me a better base than doing it on my hard table. It has a little bit of um, softness to the foam and it just gives me a better image. So the colors we're going to use on this card are Pool Party, Blackberry Bliss, Old Olive, and Cinnamon Cider. So I sort of use some of the colors from this paper as my inspiration for um, building my ice cream cone. So let's see, I'm gonna start with the pool party. Stamp that there, and then I'm using the uh, sort of, I guess, sprinkles stamp set, and we'll put some of those on our ice cream. And now I'm using this again, so I'm going to be cleaning my stamp between each use. And this is our simple chamois. It's just, um, I use water, rinse it out with water, and it's great for, for cleaning these stamps. Now I have the Blackberry Bliss. Now this is a darker color. So for this, I actually like to stamp off first. Uh, that didn't have a good impression anyway, so... Stamp off first and then stamp it. So it's a little bit more of a muted blackberry. And then I'm gonna do full strength with the sprinkles. And then we'll clean up again. And then I have one more color. I'm gonna do the old olive. Okay, so let's get the old olive out. And again, on this one, um, I'm going to stamp off first and then stamp. I like the, the second stamped color a little bit better than the dark. Um, it's colors that are in the set, but for some reason the darker color doesn't look like a very appetizing ice cream color. So I did the lighter version of that. Okay, we are done with that one now. And... We're going to get out the pop. 
punch, which is right here. And we'll punch out our ice creams. So I'm just gonna cut that off. It makes it a little bit easier. Slide it in and punch it. That's our last one. So for some reason, actually, this it is an old olive. It says on the thing, but it seems a lot brighter than mine. I'm wondering if my ink is really old and I might need to refreshen up my, my ink so the color seems to be a little wonky on that, doesn't it? And now, oh, so I'm going to use the punch and I'm using the scrap piece of that paper because this sort of has that, that waffle cone texture on it and um, I'm just going to punch out a ice cream cone with this. And then with this I found when you're punching this paper it shows a little bit of the white there on the sides and so I take my cinnamon cider ink and I just kind of um, tap it against the side there and bring in some of that color on the edge of my cone and it gets rid of that white. And then we don't have to do the top because we're gonna cover the top with our ice cream. Okay, let's see what else I need to do my sentiment and then we're all done with our stamping. So I'm gonna do that in the Blackberry Bliss and I'm going to do you melt my heart. And this is the sentiment that's in that, that set. I don't know if that's ink. Oh, no, just a little piece of paper or something. And then, oh, we do have this little, like, drop, ice cream drop. So I did want to do some, like, my ice cream was melting to kind of go with the sentiment. So we'll put a few of those coming up like that. Okay, get this out of the way. And I think I'm done with these stamp sets for now. And we can start building our card. So we will put our basic white layer on the inside. And then I'm putting this um, pattern on the inside right side. I'm just going to let a little bit of the white show. And then this striped pattern is going to go on that that flap that we made. And then the other piece with the ice cream comes on the front panel. And now what I wanted to do with this is you could either cut it off. I mean, I put the designer series paper on it. You could either cut it off, but I thought that it would um, be a great place to put a gift card. So you put a little bit of glue and close that up like that. And then you can tuck a, you know, an ice cream gift card in there or a coffee gift card or um, 
anything that you want in there. And let me show you. This is an old gift card I had that is already, I've already used it. There's nothing on it, but see, it fits nicely in there. And then, you know, it makes a nice little gift. So, um, let's finish the front of our card. So we have our ice creams here. So I'm going to use dimensionals. Okay. So we'll do our cone first. I have a little dimensional for the bottom, big one for the top. And we're gonna put this here. And then we'll start building our cone. maybe straighten this a little. We're gonna end up covering our, our melting ice cream. Sometimes if you haven't pressed too hard on the dimensionals, you can get them to peel up. And I'm gonna straighten my cone that way a little bit more. Let's see, we'll do the old olive first, then the blackberry bliss. And then we will put our pool party on the top. What is that one sticking up? There we go. And then it lines up with my melting ice cream spots. So again, I'm gonna put this sort of here on the side. Oh, and I had that Blackberry Bliss ribbon. So I'm just going to cut maybe an inch, inch and a half of that off. And I'm just gonna put a little sort of tag here. that over and I'm using just regular scotch tape and tape that down so it stays in place and then I'm gonna attach that there so again I just want adhesive right down the left side only And then we have some of our sprinkles. Let's see. I'm going to put a tiny little dot of glue where I want my sprinkles. And I think I'll do the purple ones. There we go. And so I like this card a lot. And there, the other stamps in that set are popsicles. So let me get my envelope decorated. And then we're actually gonna make one of these with the using the popsicles too. Same exact card, just using the popsicles so you can see the, um, the other options with that. So we'll put our designer series paper on our envelope flop, get out our scissors and just there we go. And there's our card and then let's quickly we will do the I had my pieces and parts here someplace. We'll do the popsicle card. Okay, 
there we go. So this time I'm using Calypso Coral. The coordinating color was actually terracotta tile, and that is one of the colors, the in colors that retired. So I thought Calypso Coral um, matched pretty well, and that will be what we use. So again, this was eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at four and a quarter. And then my bone folder and then I also scored it at one and a quarter to make our gift card so the other sentiment in this set is um, treat yourself which is what gave me the idea to make this into a gift card holder I thought if we made um, if you use that sentiment on your card then um, it would be really cute to have the gift card inside of it so again we have our basic white layer that is four by five and a quarter we have two pieces of the designer series paper um, they are both one inch each by five and a quarter and i have the basic white that i cut out with the stitch so sweetly dies and another piece of the designer series paper and this one has the popsicles on it and this is two and three quarters by five and a quarter and so i used um, this popsicle actually as my inspiration for the one i wanted to make so i'm doing the blackberry bliss and the calypso coral will be our two colors and then our stem is going to be the cinnamon cider so this is two-step stamping, so I'm going to start with the top of the popsicle, and I'm going to make that the Calypso Coral. So put that up near the top, and while I have this open, I'm going to use that sentiment with the Calypso Coral. I want to put this down on the bottom, make sure it's straight. Okay, then we have the bottom part of our popsicle in the Blackberry Bliss. Let me close this before I make a mess. And so I'm going to try to line that up on the sides and there we go I missed a little bit of it down there but uh, let me start again let's see if I can do it this way do it the opposite way I'll do the bottom part first let me get my calypso coral out There we go. And our sentiment again. And then we have our popsicle stick that we will do in the cinnamon cider. And then this is just a little bit of a sort of a wood design for your popsicle stick. So you can just do that up on top and it just sort of gives it a little bit more dimension by showing the detail of the popsicle stick. So if you wanted to kind of add some dimension to this and, and pop it up the way we did with the ice cream things, you could do this on a piece of um, scrap paper and then um, fussy cut it out you know it's pretty straight lines and stuff it should it would be easy to to cut out and then pop up with dimensionals so let's get the rest of our card put together we'll put our basic white layer on the inside We have a piece of the designer series paper, the one inch strip. And 
And then our striped piece we're gonna put over on that flap that we're gonna use for our gift card. And we can glue this down. Just hold it for a couple minutes, so a couple seconds, so I know it adheres and sticks. Looks like I got ink on myself. I need to clean that up. <sighs> Nothing worse than not being almost done with the project and you find out you got ink on your fingers that you transfer over to it. Okay. So let's attach our designer series paper to the front. Okay, why did I do this? It looks like my paper's too long. Let me get my trimmer. I must have made it a quarter inch too long. tape all over it. So let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Yeah, I did. I made it three inches rather than two and three quarter inches. Okay. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so... Now it's the right. There we go, we can do that there. And then we're gonna take our little Blackberry Bliss piece and put a little tab at the top here. do this one on the other side of the card. Like that. Yes, I like that better. We'll add our seal and then we will attach this here. And then I'm going to do some of those sprinkles again, just around the popsicle, not on the popsicle. I have some sort of a little ink stain, so I'm gonna cover that with one of our sprinkles, and then you won't even know that I got that stain there. So this time I think I'm gonna use these terracotta tile sprinkles. They're very tiny there. I need like tweezers maybe it would be easier to pick them up with. Okay, there we go. There's that card. And then of course we have some of our Popsicle Designer Series paper and we will put that on our envelope flap. I just go lightly with the glue. I don't add too much glue to it. Um, and get that all lined up. Oh, those are our two cards using that sweet ice cream suite of products so let me get some of this stuff out of the way put away and we will work on our last card 
Okay, so our next project is going to be using the Handsomely Suited Bundle, and this is going to be on page 67 of your catalog, the Well Suited Suite. So it has a um, stamp set. This is great for Father's Day. So we're gonna make a Father's Day card because Father's Day is coming up in June and we need to start planning ahead to celebrate the um, men in our life, either your father, your son, um, an uncle, anybody that you feel um, has made a good impact on you or children, um, you should give them a, a nice Father's Day card and this is a great uh, set to do that with. It also comes with the suit and tie dies, so it makes this great sort of suit front. There's bow ties, there's regular ties, um, and it has a lot of great dies in it. It also comes with this navy, Knight of Navy twine and the basic gray twine. And then with this designer series paper, which has all these coordinating colors. And so we'll be using some of the designer series paper in the stamp set. I'm not using the dies today. So for our card part, I have a um, basic gray and this is seven and a half by five and a half and I have scored it at four and a quarter. Then I have, oh, I should have a piece of basic white. I'm gonna have to go grab that. That will be on the inside. That will be four by five and a quarter. The designer series paper is three inches by five and a quarter. And then this designer series paper is one inch by five and a half inches. And then I have a piece to decorate our envelope with that is six inches by two and a half inches. So, oh, and then I have a piece of basic white. This is gonna be for our sentiment. And this was uh, die cut out with the, the stitched rectangular dies. So as you can see, it has a little bit of um, stitching on the edge. If you don't have that, you could just cut out a rectangular piece of the basic white and use that instead. But I like the extra detail of the, the stitching from the dies. Okay, I got my basic white layer for the inside and we are going to do our stamping first. So I have this, um, the bow tie stamp, and we're gonna do that in those coordinating colors, the Pacific point, and then I'm gonna use the basic gray as well. So I wanna do my bow tie in the Pacific point right up at the center top of this rectangle. And then I'm going to do my sentiment in the basic gray. This says, have a happy Father's Day, handsome. So I thought that went well with that spiffy bow tie. And let's see, we're gonna do a sentiment on the inside of this as well. So it's gonna say to the world's greatest, to, the, to one of the world's greatest dads. So we're going to stamp that right there in the middle. And that's a little crooked. I'm going to try it one more time. Still a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm going to let that go. It's not that much. And uh, the dad I'm giving it to is not going to notice that. So... I have Pool Party Stampin' Blends, and I'm going to use these to color in my um, bow tie to give it some color. So I'm gonna sort of do my dark Pool Party first, just to add some um, sort of dimension to this. And then I'm going to color in with the light Pool Party. So all Stampin' Blends come um, with two of the markers, one light, one dark. And 
And there we go. There's our spiffy bow tie. So I'm going to get this out of the way and we can start building our card. So. that on the inside and then this piece with the um, the stripes pattern on it is going to go on the bottom here and this is um, five and a half inches long so it covers the whole straight across the whole bottom like that our other designer series paper is going to go on the top of our card to give it a nice crease so it lays flatter and doesn't pop up as much and then I have the twine so I'm going to use the basic gray twine and we're going to start over here and I'm going to wrap it around several times And then I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm not going to try to do, because it's a dad. He doesn't care about the bows like we care about the bows. So we will just that and then I'm actually going to tie them all together and do another knot. Like that. And now I have our sentiment and we're going to put that right down here like that. And Let's see, I'm going to use some dimensionals on this. So, sort of mixing my mini dimensionals and my big dimensionals. So, we'll put that there like that that and that is our Father's Day card. We'll decorate our envelope with some of our designer series paper. I use this pinstripe pattern. I like this pinstripe pattern. Um, my husband used to wear a lot of pinstripe suits back when men wore suits to the office. Um, hasn't had to do that for a long, long time. But so there we go. So if you've been watching along, I hope you noticed that these cards all had similar layouts, but were all slightly different. So um, this one used the stitched shapes rank, uh, rectangles and I had cut off an inch of this to, to have that sort of fun fold. And then we had our popsicle and ice cream card which was similar just oriented differently and I had used the stitch so sweetly dies to cut out that rectangle 
and this was scored at one and a quarter inches so that we could have our little um, gift card flap in here for our gift card. And so there's where both of those with the popsicles and the ice cream. And then our very first card, um, I don't have that measurement right in front of me now, but I had cut off a much larger piece of that front card and it opens um, differently than the other ones, but this also has a, you know, a, a panel on the front. So similar designs, similar layout, but all very different in, um, and unique in their own way. And so I hope that you uh, enjoyed learning about these today and these products. Again, all of the measurements in the products I used will be on my blog, stampdesignswithdenise.net. If you're interested in placing an order, I would really appreciate your support and you use the May host code and you will receive that card kit with three exclusive card parts that you can use to create a card. And Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your comments and your likes and sharing my video. And remember to leave a little sparkle wherever you go.